The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so number six is a, an interesting type of question. We need to take A, B, and C and put them in the correct order. In other words, we just need to evaluate what these are uh, and then see how they compare to each other. So let's deal with them in order. So A is absolute value 4x squared plus 2 over 2x squared plus 1. So we need to try to simplify this as much as possible. Now if you have constants inside your absolute value that are positive, you can factor them out. So here we have 4x squared plus 2. We can factor a 2 out of that. And we get 2 absolute value 2x squared plus 1 over 2x squared plus 1. Now these look the same, and we would be able to cancel them out if there wasn't an absolute value bar there. So let's see if we can get rid of that somehow. Well, x squared is always positive, or 0. And when we add 1 to it, we're, we're always going to have a positive number, meaning that these absolute value bars are not doing anything. So really, we can just say it's that, because it's already positive anyway, no matter what. And then we can cancel these out. And we get that a is 2, because we're only left with that 2 there. So let's work with b and c now. OK, so b is equal to negative 2 squared. All right, this is just making sure you know how to do your order of operations. Because the negative 2 is not in parentheses, you need to do the squaring first and then times by the negative. So 2 squared is 4. We do a negative afterwards, and we get negative 4. So that's B. And for C, we have the degree of the polynomial x squared plus 2x to the fourth minus 1. So we need the degree of So remember that the degree of a polynomial is the value of its highest power of x, in, or the variable it might not be of x. In this case, uh, don't, don't get confused by if it's written out of order. The highest power of x here is 4. So that's the degree of the polynomial. So we get 4. So we have 2, negative 4, and 4. So the correct answer here should be c is greater than a which is greater than B, which is written backwards as answer choice C in this case. They have B is less than A, which is less than C. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.